Hello everybody, welcome to Translating Learning Chemistry videos. Today we'll be discussing about concept and explanation related to inductive effect and types of inductive effects. So let's see what all topics we'll be covering in this video. In this video, first of all, we'll be covering the topic what is meant by inductive effect, then what is the reason for inductive effect and some important points about inductive effect. So let's start. First of all, what is inductive effect? Inductive effect is the permanent displacement of electrons along the carbon chain due to difference in electronegativities between the carbon atom and the other atom attached to the carbon chain. So as per the inductive effect, there are two important parameters we have to take into consideration that is difference in the electronegativities and the permanent displacement of electrons. You can see two structures here. In these two structures, this represents the carbon chain, whereas in this, it represents the carbon chain. And in these two structures, we have some other atoms, say X and Y, attached to this carbon chain. Let us consider this X atom to be more electronegative than the carbon chain, and let us consider this Y atom to be less electronegative as compared to the carbon chain, because for the inductive effect, there has to be difference in the electronegativity. So in this first texture, I have considered this X atom to be more electronegative than the carbon and its chain, whereas in this second structure, I have uh, considered this Y atom to be less electronegative than this carbon atom and the carbon chain. Now, the second point, the permanent displacement of electrons. So now, how the permanent displacement of electrons uh, takes place? Before telling you this, I would like to tell you that this represents the sigma bond, and uh, I'll be representing the sigma bond with these two electrons for the better explanation of this inductive effect. So now let's see how the permanent displacement of electrons takes place through this carbon chain. You can see here that as X is more electronegative than the carbon chain, so there's a displacement of electrons towards the atom. And due to this, the X atom has uh, developed the partial negative charge because of their displacement of electrons towards it, whereas the carbon chain has acquired the partial positive charge because of the displacement of electrons away from this carbon chain. Now, let us consider what happens in this case where X is less electronegative as compared to the carbon chain. Now, as Y is less electronegative, so there is displacement of electrons away from the carbon chain, and due to this, the Y atom acquires the partial positive charge because there is a displacement of electrons away from their uh, Y atom, and the carbon chain acquires the partial negative charge because there is a drift of electrons towards the carbon chain. So, uh, this permanent displacement of electrons either towards the carbon chain or away from the carbon chain due to difference in the electronegativities between the carbon atom and the atom attached to the carbon chain is known as inductive effect. This inductive effect is also known as I effect or it is also known as transmission effect due to the transmission or the drift of the electrons towards or away from the carbon chain. Now, what is the reason for the inductive effect? So the most important reason for the inductive effect is the difference in electronegativity between the carbon atom and the other atom attached to the carbon chain. As I've told you earlier that this atom attached to the carbon chain is more electronegative than the carbon chain and this atom will be electron withdrawing group. It will be electron withdrawing in nature, whereas this atom Y is less electronegative than the carbon atom, so this atom will be electron releasing group, that is electron donating in nature. When these electron withdrawing or electron releasing groups are attached to the carbon chain, there is permanent polarity induced on their carbon and the carbon chain. So in case when we have an electron withdrawing group, there is a partial permanent polarity on the carbon chain, whereas when we have an electron releasing group, there is a, a partial negative permanent polarity on the carbon chain. But how could I explain this phenomena that the permanent displacement of the electrons and the permanent polarity that is induced? Let us see what is the basic reason and why this happens. 
So the reason is that when two atoms of different elements participate in the bond formation, then the electron density cloud of sigma bond is not distributed uniformly. You can see here that uh, I have considered a carbon atom whereas an X atom which is more electronegative than the carbon atom whereas in this figure we have a carbon atom and then we have another atom which is less electronegative than the carbon atom. Now uh, when there is a formation of bond, we are talking about the sigma bond, then the electron density cloud of the sigma bond is not distributed uniformly. You you can see here that in these two structures uh, there is no uniformity in the distribution of the electron cloud because the electron density clouds tends to orient itself towards the more electronegative atom present in the bond. In this case X is more electronegative so the electron cloud tends to orient itself towards this more electronegative atom and we have more electron density uh, here around the X atom and uh, you can see that the cloud is more dense and uh, more in volume here. Whereas in this case uh, the carbon is more electronegative so the electron cloud is drifted or oriented towards this carbon atom and we have more density of electrons on the carbon atom uh, and there's a more volume of electrons towards it. So there's a drift of the electron cloud towards the more electronegative atom and the cloud is not distributed uniformly. So now what happens when this cloud is not distributed uniformly? Due to there's a uh, non-uniformly distribution of electron cloud, uh, there is a permanent polarity on the carbon atom and its chain. And this results due to displacement of electron cloud because of difference in electronegativities between the carbon atom and the other atom attached to the carbon chain. So you can see here because of the uneven distribution of the electron cloud, there has been a permanent polarity on the carbon atom as well as the other atom attached to it. In this case, when this X atom is more electronegative, the X atom has a partial negative charge whereas the carbon atom has a partial positive charge. Whereas in this case when this Y atom is less electronegative then the Y atom has partial positive charge whereas the carbon atom has a partial negative charge. So the main reason is the orientation of the electron density cloud towards the more electronegative atom which leads to the polarity of the carbon atom and its chain. So this formed the basis of inductive effect. Part 1 ends here. Thank you for second part of this video and for more videos you can visit our website transelling.com. Have a great day.